Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah. Josh here with Deprived Productions. With the 37th material tutorial in the Unreal Engine. And I'm talking about 37 of them because we got all kind of them. We're going to talk about sphere masks today. It's good to be back again. I said that already. But, I mean, you know, you know, just it's, it's good to be back. We got the opacity masks or the sphere mask. I want to talk about that today and what we can do with it. It's actually kind of neat. It's kind of an easy way of it's like a It's like a pixel depth trick, something that you can change over time. There's a couple different ways you can do it, and I want to talk you through it today. So check it out. If I exit here and I, I got my little map, I got my, my little ball running around, I can kind of I can push. Push him around, right? I'm pushing. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with the tutorial, and I apologize. But I got a little cube here. You know what I'm saying? The DP folder. I got a cube. We're going to create a material. So right click, create a material. I'm going to name it, uh, I'm going to name it SM, bro. You know what SM stands for? S it stands for, it stands for, uh, Stands for sphere mask. So it's what we're gonna we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of those, baby. A sphere mask is what we're gonna talk about today. I want to explain a couple things to you. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a ball, a sphere right in the middle of our world. Okay, now that you're like, but I don't get it. But but you're not gonna get it until I show you, and it's gonna be invisible. And you're like, I, I now I really don't get it. And again, I just want to point out, I've already said this. You're not gonna get it at first. Actually, y'all probably do. Y'all are smart people, and I love you. Now we're gonna grab an absolute world position node. Okay, and what we're gonna do. We're going to pick a point in our world, and we're going to pick the easiest point. So plug this into A, and this is going to be our location. So check it out. I'm going to hold the number three, and zero, zero, zero is going to be the location. Okay, boom, that's it. Now, when we click on this, we got the radius and the harshness. Now think about the radius being the size of the ball that we're going to put in the world. Okay, where I'm going to make it uh, one thou. It's a, a, big, a big old G. You know what I'm saying? One G, don't be scared. The harshness is basically 100 being uh, completely, completely harsh and zero being really like a slow, slow transition. Imagine dividing a pixel depth. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the, and the bigger the number, the more it slowly transitions. Well, this is a harsh transition, and this is an extremely slight transition. So we'll talk about that in a second. Let's put it a hundy. Let's get it all cranked up here. Now, again, we'll save it, and we'll move it over here because we're going to end up putting this on our cube, right? Now, let's go ahead and grab our cube into the world. Grab yourself a box. Okay, I'm over here. That means I'm going to put my box right here. And I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to do a couple things. Right? I'm going to change the scale to four all the way. And you can stretch this out. Do what you got to do. Stretch, stretch it out a little bit, baby. Don't be scared of it. It's a, it only happens a couple times. Now, now what happens is I'm, we got the box here. It's pretty big. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to grab the SM and put it onto the, to the box. Now, for right now, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to do anything. But I want to point something out. Before we do anything, I want to grab the location of the box and set it to zero. Zero and zero okay so that is zero 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 where it's at right now okay now if i press the play the game it's right there everything's fine oh god the uh the the, the, the rock falls on top of it whatever now now that that's happening we're gonna do a little lerp <laughs> now l hold the letter l plug this into the alpha get yourself a little lerp right there boy we're gonna pick two collars okay hold the number three click hold the number three click plug your plug the output into the base collar plug this into a now the top collar is what it's going to be right the top collar is what it's always going to be when we're not when it's not inside the ball but the other collar is what it's going to be when it is inside of the ball so think about it like that there's an invisible sphere at this location with this radius and this harshness and the the, the, the material we're going to make it uh we're gonna make it blue okay we're gonna make it blue but if it's inside of that ball it's going to be red Okay, and that's what's happening. Now, this ball, and it's like, oh, God, you're inside of my ball, bruh, because that's why it's red. Now, if we look at the box, is it red? Of course it's red, because it's inside the ball because of the location. Now, let's move it. Let's move it over here to the left a little bit. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. We're getting outside of the ball, bruh. We're getting outside of the ball. Did you see what it did there? You see what it did there? So we're using the world location to move it outside. Now, let's, let's move it around a little bit, okay? Let's just move it around here. See, oh, oh you can kind of see that it's a ball, like the inside there, and it's covering up my and my, covering up my box, okay? It's it's a ball we're getting away from, and let's put, let's put it back where it was. Let's control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, fine. But the point is, you see what's going on there. I can bring it anywhere, and that I can decide that location. I can change that location if I want to. Right now, we just got it set to 100, right? Well, check this out. Let's make our lives a little easier. Here. You know what I'm talking about? Let's get rid of this double zero, the zero, 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 and type in camera, and you're going to get the camera position. So now it's basically going to take the camera position. Now, the camera position. Now, two different ways it does that. One, if you're in the editor, it'll take the editor camera, the one that you can't see or control, or you have any control over right now at least. So as you can tell, if I get closer to it, up, 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 yep, yep. So it's like the sphere is wrapped around me now. So the closer I get, and that's what I was talking about, like the pixel depth kind of trick there, kind of neat, right? You know what I mean? Pretty neat. Or what's cool is, if you play the game, it'll be the camera of your guy. Now, not the guy itself, but the camera that's watching him. So, oh, ho, 
oh, you know what I'm saying? I kind of said, if I get too close to it, it kind of turns into a, a, a turns into a, a, a ball. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's, let's let's pull this bad baby up out of the area. So let's move the rock out of the way. Okay, let's do that. And now we got ourselves a little spot. So what we can do? Think about this. Let's go right here. Let's click on this bad baby, and let's change it from opaque to translucent. You already know what I'm gonna do. Now let's 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 get rid of the base collar. Let's get rid of this red because we're not going to need it. We're not even actually gonna need the blue, but I want the box to still be blue. So I'm gonna do that. And now have it, instead of hold the number one and click, hold the number one and click. Put that one in that one, right? Put that one in this one, right? We want it to always be opaque, so set that to one, right? But if you get too close to the ball, I want it to go to zero, which means it's going to disappear. We'll plug that into opacity. Okay, so now where it's set to camera position, I can just save it, and it's like, oh, God, I don't see it. But now the point is I could just use my camera out here and get a little closer to it. I'm getting a little up. Ah! Up, it's starting to disappear, baby. It's starting to disappear with my little ball. You know what I'm saying? And you can just boom, and the box is gone. You know, as I get close to it, boom. And the same thing if you're playing in the map. You're walking around here. You got your ball. You got all kind of stuff. You get close to the box. Of course, it's still there, but I can't see it to an extent. Now, let's go ahead and talk about that harshness, okay? Let's talk about this, uh, the hardness. Let's set it to about 25. Pretty sweet now, right? So if I actually change the hardness to where it's not so hard, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even have to play it. You can just zoom out of here. But you could, the point is I can get like way back here. Maybe you can see that the closer I get to it, oh, it starts to fade out a little bit. And the closer I get, the more it disappears until about right there. And it's completely gone. And you can kind of change. You can toy with, those, uh, toy with those settings all you want. And again, the radius is just how big that ball is, dude. So if you set this radius down to 300, you know, you set it way down, you're going to have to get really close to that box before it shows you any type of transition. So we'll go back, right? And you have to get pretty close before it shows any transition, but still kind of neat right still kind of neat so if i'm playing the game and walking up to the box i need to be able to see through it you know what i'm saying it didn't work it didn't work because i'm not close enough to it but like kind of like that kind of move like i want to be able to see that ball you know what i'm saying or what well, the point is you could set it to be like the character's location if you if you toy with blueprints and all that cool stuff but the point is um if you were playing a game and you were actually like you know doing like a third person or first person thing but you needed to be able to see on the other side or whatever and you need to be kind of like that you know, if you, every object could have this little sphere mask kind of thing in it or you could apply it to your post process that way it always works with every object there's a, there's there's a thousand ways to do it but the point is i hope that made sense sphere masks are really neat it's like a easier on resources type of pixel depth trick i'm not going to lie and you can use this with several things all we did was toy with the base collar changing the base collar and the opacity and what's cool is we could go back and change the base collar and toy with this now if you set this hardness and we'll set the radius back to let's say 1500 okay so it's a little higher than it was and i've set this about to about uh five so the, so the hardness is way down if if you go a little lower than 25 25 i think is a good bottom number if you want it to disappear completely. Now, if you don't want it to disappear completely, uh, the, you know, five, as you can tell, it's never really going to be uh, up, up. I guess it does kind of get completely gone, but you got to be right up on it. But the point is, you can see that it has a lot, it's a lot softer. It's just a lot softer, you know what I'm saying? So it's completely see-through, it's completely see-through, and then boom, about right here. But that's based off your radius, right? Radius two, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm inside of it, you know, I get inside, I get down in it, I'm, I'm not scared. And you know, there you go. You, as you get farther away from the box, it becomes more opaque. And you're not using your pixel depth, which is a little more expensive. You're using literally just a giant sphere mask that you've put in the world. And again, this isn't a 3D space. You could use it with like a texture coordinate. It could be in a 2D space. You could use it as 2D. But I wanted to show you guys how you could use it inside of your world with just a few nodes. It's kind of neat. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I'm using the camera position, but you can do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? You could literally just go back here if you wanted and put it back to like the zero, 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 hold the three. You know what I'm saying? Put it right here. That's no big deal. You know what I'm saying? We got a blue box, but the thing is now where the box is located, it may be kind of translucent. And now where the box is located decides its opacity. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If I get a little closer to the zero, zero, you notice that it's a little bit more opaque or a little more translucent, but the further away, the more opaque it is because now now it's based off of this location, not the camera location. Okay, so remember, this is your location. B is your location. But guys, I hope that made a little bit of sense. I hope you had a little fun with that. Made a little, made a little something, something with it. We got a little invisible half box, a little bit with some grass, and we'll teach you guys how to make a simple grass like this with the blender to UE4 to mixer thing. That's coming up next, boy. It's actually really easy to make, and I mean, it looks pretty cool, right? It's all done with those three programs, which means it costs zero dollars, zero dollars for you, zero dollars free. You can make it yourself. Who needs? Well, actually, the marketplace. 
Marketplace, the UE4 Marketplace has UE5, Unreal Engine Marketplace has all kind of cool stuff. So I ain't go down that. You know what I'm saying? But if you need like a little low poly grass, we'll tell you to do that next. But guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a few days with a new tutorial. Like I said, I'll teach you how to make this grass. It's pretty sweet. You know what I'm saying? Pretty easy. Pretty, pretty cake. It's definitely not on the ground like it's supposed to be. And I apologize. But I hope you guys learned a little something about the sphere mask, how we can, you know, it's, it's not set to camera position anymore. So I don't know why I'm toying with this. But the point is, I hope you guys understand how this works now, how the uh, sphere mask can be very useful, can make some really, really cool changes to your scenery, you know what I'm saying, based off what you're doing with it. But guys, thanks for watching. Josh here with the Prop Productions. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, please. We've got almost 3,000 subs subscribers. Hit us up on Facebook, SoundCloud, or SoundCloud Bandcamp, Itch.io. we got all kind of sites. Everything's in the, all the links are in the description of the video, so hit me up if you have any questions. Um, I was gone there for about a month, but it's, it's good to be back. We were out of UE4 for a while as well, but again, it's good to be back and we're back at it. So thanks for watching. Love you, miss you. All kind of stuff coming. We're about to be basically all Unreal Engine 5 here really soon. We're about to do that right now after we get a couple things settled. We're settling everything right now. So uh, I hope you enjoyed Unreal Engine 4. It's been fun, but we're going all the way to UE5. We're going to be doing all UE5 from here on out. So thanks again for watching. Love you. Miss you. Peace.